This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Damn, I look good. Welcome back to Fight Night as we continue part one of our tribute to the 2020-21 United States Men's Boxing Olympic Team. Up next is the team's light heavyweight, Raheem Gonzalez. Sort of. Gonzalez defeated Atif Olberton in the Olympic trials, but failed to qualify for Tokyo by losing to Stepan Reko in the qualifying tournament. So much for Raheem. Raheem hasn't turned pro yet, but back in November, he competed in the AIBA World Championships. Raheem could possibly be representing the next time around in 2024, and winning the world title would help. In the finals of the World Championship, he took on Alexei Alfredoro from Belarus. Will Gonzalez be the world champ, or will Alexei? Let's find out. Won that fight, and I felt that was a, that was a decent... What the hell is he wearing on his face? So Alfredoro looking for Belarus's first... Gold medal, Gonzalez looking for the USA's second. So yes, this was this was after the Olympics. So this was basically setting up for next time around. And that's that's pretty bad. You know, they have the world championships every year, but you know, first year after the Olympics is like, you know, you got three years to What is that guy wearing? Oh, is that that dreadlock dude? Yes it is. The dreadlock ring announcer whose hair is down to his feet. You know, he's got it up in that thing. <laughs> what has he got in his face? Touching the gloves there. And you can see the, the damage to the, to the face there of Alfred Rod Shades of kind of baffled scars we saw in the face of Petrovsky yesterday. Oh, I see what all right. So basically this has been a tournament and he got cut because they're not using headgear, they're suffering legit damage. His face was all cut up from his previous fight. So and pop those punches off and really loading up on All right, so. Whoa! Alexi just dropped Gonzalez with a big left hook. In the first 20 seconds, she gives him an eight count. He's fine. Oh, crap. Now he's going to be, you know, behind the eight ball here. Now he's going to have to rally. And the referee's saying that was it with the inside of the club. The second one might have been. The first one was a jab there from Alfie Rock Gonzalez looking to... Yeah, Gonzalez doesn't look good. He looks scared. He needs to get his head cleared. Nearly a minute into the first round. Yeah, he took a shot to the head. All right, he's going to have to set up his jab because the guy's face is already busted open, so he may as well, you know, go for the weakness. But he got to set up the jab. Go to the body and go to the head. So he's, he's trying to head hunt right now. By that left, he does have a little bit of a habit of keeping that chin high as he pulls out. Gonzalez, something we... Right, what is the referee doing? Oh, stop using... Yeah, you can't use the inside of your hand. It's not like... In, in, in pro boxing, it doesn't matter. You hit, you hit. Just don't hit him in the back of the head. In amateur boxing, you can't use your... You know, you can't open hand slap the guy. All right, Gonzalez landed a couple of jabs here. Now, this is the final. So, this is the world championship. This is These aren't just normal Joes. These are supposedly the two best amateurs in the world outside of the Olympics. Seemingly at the minute without too much of a plan, and he's been caught by Alfie Rod. And this has been a damaging opening round. Everybody's wearing masks in the front row. That's right, this is back in November. Get to the end of the round here, gets caught by a stiff jab, left hand to the body. He did land a left hand to the body himself, Gonzalez, before that. And he just keeps coming forward here, keeps walking forward. I don't think he's really recovered from that, from that opening knockdown, to be honest with you. He's kind of fighting on instinct to be here, Gonzalez. Well, that's oh, he, oh, he fell down. Um, All right, so Alfie yeah. fell down. He didn't get knocked down. At the end of 
this round, I would say, as we have a quick timeout right before the end of the... Well, the shoe's untied? Yeah, the shoe's untied. Are you kidding? Dude, dude, are you joking? Get that shit up, like in wrestling. Alright, so, round two, fight. But just from the way he's gone about things since then, I do think, as I said, he's fighting through a bit of a fog and gets caught by a lead left hand there straight away. Yeah, Gonzalez, oh, Gonzalez just got aggressive and... ...locking on right from the opening seconds, and, and as I say, I think the debate here is not whether he's won that round, but whether he's 10-9s or 10-8s. No, that's definitely a 10-8 round. He's got a, he's got his work cut out for him, that's for sure. All right, Gonzalez is in trouble. He, had, he ate a knockdown. I love that. I and remember, we, yeah, they, they did the rules up. It's not none of this point system. Now it's, you know, I mean, none of the uh, old scoring. Now it's 10-point must system. So this is a 10-8 round. So Gonzalez is throwing everything he's got right now. He's, this is what he's going to have to do. Now he's chasing Alfie around the ring. There you go. Go to the body. Tons and tons of grit and power, and he will keep coming forward here, but I just think that he's going to play into the hands of the fighter in red who just slings up a big lead right hand there. Oh, that was a nice left hand by Gonzalez. He... Not really protecting that chin particularly as he walks in, as he walks Oh, in. big left by Gonzalez. A decent shot. Get through with a short left there too. But Alfie Rolf, you get the feeling it's happy to have him just coming in there. The USA corner away to our right hand side just trying to block out as much advice as they can. Gets away with, really. You know, Al Alfie's ch he's basically chasing him around the ring. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no elbow. He does do that every now and again. Oh, he punched him in the balls. They're calling it a low blow. All right, so that was not okay. So that was just to see if he was okay. So that was a low blow. That was not a knockdown. So she gave him an eight count, the referee. But no, that was not a knockdown. They got hit in the nuts. All right, shut up and fight, will you? Knock him the hell out and get it over with. Forward, to bring some oh, yeah, yeah, she's warning don't hit him in the head, and you, don't tie up. <laughs> That's right, we have strict, strict rules, no tying. Oh, big left hand. Well, Gonzalez definitely was the aggressor in this round. He's definitely going to win this round if nothing keep, if this keeps up. But... I don't think it's like he, the best he could do would probably be a draw unless he really dominates and knocks the guy down in the third round. Remaining and still he just walks forward here, Gonzalez. Left to the body. One, two there from Alfie Rob that goes down to the body. Hands down, just manages to pull back. Gonzalez is really tagging him with these big hands here. He's just trying to dog this out, Gonzalez. Left to the body. He does throw that well. So I think I think Gonzalez, uh, Alfie's running out of gas. Cause he looks he looks tired. He's he's breathing heavy, and that's it. Yeah, Gonzalez definitely won that round, but I don't think it's going to be enough to win. He's going to utterly dominate the third round if he's going to win this fight. That knockdown in the first is going to kill him. All right, here we go, round three. He's going to have to knock him out. Oh, we got a headlock. Oh, what a shot by Gonzalez. And there's another right hand. Yeah, Alexi's just trying to hang on here. You could you could easily tell he's 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 he's, he's, he's basically jumping away. That let no, he, he's trying to sit on the lead. You can tell. He, he's out of gas. 
Does Gonzalez have enough to knock him down at least once? That's the question at this point. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to sit on the lead because he had that ten eight round. That's 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 big. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, can you get him down? Can you get him down? Nope. I thought he was going down too. No, he's he's literally running away from Gonzalez. He's trying to sit on the lead. This is ridiculous. And the judges may may call it that way. Fantastic fight. He he knocked him down in like the first twenty seconds. He's been running ever since. It's just a question if Gonzalez can knock him down. If he does, he wins. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. So that's if I'm Gonzalez, just keep going. Yeah. He's literally running away. It's that simple. He's literally and it's high. You can't tie. Stop it. Stop that. A couple of times, but he made absolutely sure that his arms weren't around the torso or the waist there of the US. 13 seconds, let's go. Let's his hands go. Final 10 seconds. Come on, drop him, drop him. Magnificent from both of these two. Unbelievable fight all the way through. Final few seconds, there goes the bell. Gonzalez raises his gloves out here on. Gonzalez thinks he's won it. All right, so we either got a draw or the other guy wins. Literally, Alexi Alfie just literally ran ran away almost that whole round. All right, so so you may know they may have uh, referee made. Gonzalez thinks he's won, so let's see what happens here. I think they're going to be a draw or Alfie wins because that 10 8 round is going to kill him. No, he's a tough guy. No, I just like Gonzalez threw everything he had, he never knocked him down. So. Guys, either got an iron chin or out. Gonzalez doesn't have much power. All right, here we go. Remembering the event that things are tied, we go to preference. Here's the verdict. Split decision. Gonzalez wins it! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Gonzalez wins it! That is absolutely extraordinary. I'm just craning my head there to see what scores he has picked up. Wow. All right, Kazikasan's judge says it's an even. With Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan scoring it. Oh, shit. Oh, so he tried to like tap the guy in the shoulder, like get the hell off me. The Kazakhstan judge then has to cast their vote as to who they think has won the fight on balance, and the judge has gone with the blue corner. They went with Gonzalez because he was the aggressor of the whole fight. That's how Kurt Angle won the Olympic gold medal. Basically, the judge said he was trying more. Literally, Alfie was was running the whole fight. Like after that twenty sec, after the first twenty seconds, he ran the rest of the fight. He thought that was going to be enough to win. No, you're not protesting that. He ran. Look at that. Look, he's running. He's running. He's clinching. He was tying up. 
he was trying to sit on the lead, like 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 defensing like defense and hockey. They were trying to sit on the lead, and the, and the judges weren't having it. And Gonzalez was definitely being the aggressor. Yep, the preference was the tiebreaker, and Gonzalez basically beat him up the whole fight, and that. Well, sucks to be you, Belarus. That was great. No, that shows you what the effort will do. That was that was a hell of an effort by Gonzalez. He earned the victory. I don't give a shit what anybody says. All right, so there you have it. Gonzalez is the 2021 world champion. That doesn't guarantee an automatic bid to the 2024 Olympics. That just mean and he probably that won't you know guarantee that he won't turn pro until then either. Either way, Gonzalez didn't make it to Tokyo, which is a shame because those that did were undefeated at this point in the first round of the Olympics. It's a shame that the guys that didn't make it due to politics or the guys that failed to qualify didn't go, but that's life, I guess. So that was a hell of a fight effort by Gonzalez. Hopefully he can you know keep up the momentum in the amateur ranks or turns pro. We don't know. So that about ends it this episode of Fight Night. I'll see you next time.